U.S. Navy Vice Administration. John Hill, the head of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, or MDA, says that the multi-purpose SM-6 missile is the only weapon in the country's arsenal at present that offers any ability to knock down highly maneuverable hypersonic threats. This comes after the agency disclosed plans last year to test an unspecified version of the SM-6 against an advanced maneuvering threat, a term typically associated with unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicles, sometime in the 2024 fiscal year. Hill made his remarks about the SM-6 during a discussion about hypersonic defense capabilities at the American Society of Naval Engineers Combat Systems Symposium, which opened on January 31 and ends today. MDA is leading an effort to develop a layered defense architecture against hypersonic threats that includes an array of terrestrial and space-based sensors and multiple types of interceptors, as you can read more about here. The SM-6 series is really the nation's only hypersonic defense capability, Hill said, without specifying any particular version of this missile. He added that these weapons have a nascent capability to engage incoming hypersonic threats that are maneuvering to a high degree. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, ARAM, or Standard Missile 6, SM-6, is a missile in current production for the United States Navy. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare, ERAW, purposes providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block IV, RIM 156A, missile adding the active radar homing seeker from the AIM 120C AMRAM in place of the semi-active seeker of the previous design. This will improve the capability of the standard missile against highly agile targets and targets beyond the effective range of the launching vessel's target illumination radars. The SM-6 offers extended range over previous SM-2 series missiles, primarily being able to intercept very high-altitude or sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, and is also capable of performing terminal phase ballistic missile defense. The SM-6 can also function as a high-speed anti-ship missile. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target, and the active seeker having the missile itself send out an electromagnetic signal. The active seeker has the ability to detect a land-based cruise missile amid ground features, even from behind a mountain. The multi-mission SM-6 is engineered with the aerodynamics of an SM-2, the propulsion booster stack of the SM-3, and the front-end configuration of the AMRAM. The SM-6 missile is three missiles in one. It's the only weapon that can perform anti-air warfare, ballistic missile defense and anti-surface warfare missions. The system offers navies more flexibility in limited ship space and it's enabling the US and its allies to cost-effectively increase the offensive might of surface forces. Raytheon Missiles and Defense upgraded the software on the SM-6 in 2017 to better engage medium-range ballistic missile threats. This led to a successful interception of such a target in its final seconds of flight. The company continues to refine the weapons guidance system. The latest variant, the SM-6 Block Iowa missile, passed its final land-based test in 2017, moving it to at-sea testing in 2019. The SM-6 is deployable on 60 surface ships, and the company has already delivered more than 500 missiles to the Navy, 